This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Here's what's making headlines today. The East Coast is feeling the effects of Hurricane Florence, the outer bands of the storm reaching the coast of North Carolina this morning. Millions have been urged to seek shelter, and some areas look like ghost towns. The storm expected to bring several days of torrential rain to the region. A bad smell led to a major drug bust at a hotel in Dania Beach. Management at the Hyatt Place on Southwest 19th Avenue called BSO after getting several complaints about a strong odor to come from a room. When deputies arrived, they found 95 pounds of marijuana and $13,000. When the suspects returned to the room, they were immediately arrested. Calvin Braithwaite and Dyson Benson told deputies they were visiting from Barbados. Each man is now facing a felony charge of drug trafficking. The Senate Judiciary Committee is delaying the confirmation vote for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh one week. It's now set for September the 20th. Meantime, Kavanaugh is explaining why he didn't shake the hand of Fred Guttenberg, whose daughter Jamie died in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting. Images of their encounter at Kavanaugh's hearing last week went viral, included in a 263-page response to written questions from senators. Kavanaugh explains he would have shaken Guttenberg's hand had he recognized him. He wrote, quote, I unfortunately did not realize that the man was the father of a shooting victim from Parkland, Florida. Mr. Guttenberg has suffered an incalculable loss. If I had known who he was, I would have shaken his hand, talked to him, and expressed my sympathy, and I would have listened to him. Well, the fastest man on Earth put his speed to the test in zero gravity. Usain Bolt raced astronauts in an Airbus Zero-G plane above France as part of a promotional event for a champagne company. The Olympic gold medalist easily beat the astronauts, who gave him some competition, though. Bolt called the race mind-blowing and fun. As for the astronauts, they went home with a bottle of bubbly they can now open in space. Now, CBS4 weather. Meteorologist Dave Martin here to weather control and watching the uh, center of Florence as the storm approaches the coast of the Carolinas there. Uh, latest information from the National Hurricane Center moving west northwest 10 miles an hour wind 105 miles an hour. It's just about 100 miles east southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina. But those tropical storm force winds extend well out from the center of the storm. So even though it may be tracking west, uh, likely seeing that area of gusty wind continuing to push north along the Carolina coast and into South Carolina uh, by Saturday morning tropical storm over land and then a tropical depression uh, rapidly moving off to the north into western Pennsylvania by early next Tuesday. It, the threat potential highest though well away from the storm there all of South Carolina and North Carolina uh, is likely seeing tropical storm force winds hurricane force winds as the storm gets closer. Uh, warnings are in effect as far south as Myrtle Beach uh, with a hurricane watch for Charleston. In addition to that uh, the hurricane warnings we have uh, storm surge warnings. Uh, uh, with 6 to 12 feet, even 13 feet of storm surge expected. That's above ground. And uh, flash flood watches expanding inland there as amounts of rain it could be as high as 20 to 30 inches as the storm slowly uh, moves inland. Uh, we have storms around the area tonight, otherwise warm and muggy. They will end 78 degrees will be our temperature overnight tonight. 90 tomorrow. Southeast wind is at 10 miles an hour. Storms developing a hot and humid day. And we'll stay, stay right about 90 here over the weekend through Saturday and Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Look for summer sunshine and a few storms and highs right about 90 degrees. Dave, thanks. That's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.